Welcome to your Daily Devil reading. Today we are getting messages for your mind and we're using two pretty big decks to do that. We're using the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle along with the Star Tarot and we're going to eat two card combos to choose from for the messages that your mind needs to hear. So I would tap in, tune in, just observe for a moment what you might be thinking about and open up your mind. Thank you. Open up that channel of yours so you can start getting a feel for the two couplings or the two combos to see where you're being directed for the messages that your mind needs right now or will benefit from, that's right, or will benefit from. All right, card combo number one or card combo number two. Once you've made your selection, you can head down to the description box and click on the timestamp next to the card combo that you've chosen and we'll see you in your messages for your mind reading. Hello group one and welcome to your daily double today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the first card combo here uh, for the messages that your mind is meant to hear or know today. Insight for your mind. So let's see what we have here for you. Mm, card number four, life is better together. How nice. Seek assistance from your community. Connect with family, friends, or others who will support you. It can be as simple as making a phone call. Well, this is very important. If you've been like struggling with something or if you just need a little extra support or you need a break from something, right? Whatever it is that's been going on in your mind um, to, I'm not gonna say to upset you or to disturb you or something like that, to cause conflict, but they're just telling you that your mind is going to benefit from community at this time. Life is better together. So there's something that you're, you probably are meant to be aware of or to take in or some understanding perhaps. It could be something someone else communicates to you. It could be that you just have a question or you'd like someone else's opinion. This feeling of this card connected to the intention of this reading really feels like sometimes when spirit when we read, spirit often says like, you need to connect to yourself and drown out the voices of others, right? But for you, group number one, what your mind needs is other people's perspectives and opinions. That's what this feels like to me. Life is better together. So go spending time with people, even if you don't have a specific intention or motive, like I have a question or I need somebody's opinion on this. It still feels like the community that you, you have available to you is going to provide something for your mind to either ponder or to enlighten it or to put a light bulb on, you know, for your mind that maybe you didn't know before, you didn't think about it in that way. Um, so you wanna go into an experience of community open-minded. Whoever is popping into your head right now, whoever is popping into your mind, that's where I would start. Because if I'm saying life is better together, seek assistance from your community, connect with someone, something, some group, whoever, someone's gonna pop into your head. And whoever that is, or maybe it's a group, you're like, oh yeah, I should go and take that yoga class with that group because I love that group or I love that teacher or whatever. Whoever it is, whatever it is, I would highly suggest that you go and do that and go into it with a very open mind because you may find that you're receiving like a new idea or it's something to do with the way that your mind is working and what your mind needs. Let's see what's under this card. Oh my goodness, how fun. This is a three of cups is a celebratory energy. It's, get, it's community energy again. Yeah, there's some really, maybe it'll just make you feel better. <laughs> you know, 
to be around these people or to commune with them or to communicate with them. I mean, they're literally saying life is better together. And then the Three of Cups says, yes, let's celebrate life together. Let's experience joy. Let's laugh. Let's play. It doesn't feel like I need to talk to you about something really, really serious. And uh, da, 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 da. it feels like, you know, I could use some of her or his energy. I could use some of their energy. I could use some of the energy that comes with being around this person or, uh, you know, Let's see what so-and-so's up to. And you could just be like, hey, let's go out to dinner. Hey, let's go to the pool. Hey, let's do something fun. Or let's, you know, it could be something really light and fun here. Um, yeah, that it's good for your mind. Your mind may also just need a break. Sometimes when we're struggling with something or we're looking for a solution to something or trying to think through it too much or overanalyzing it, then when we take this kind of a break, it, it gives the mind a break and it creates the space that you need to be able to channel in or to understand something on the back end. So when you come back to it, it's like come back to that and it'll look more clear. Come back to that when, you have, when you've taken a moment. That This is that moment. So your mind needs the moment. Your mind needs the moment away. Your mind needs to connect with other people. I hope that you will allow yourself to do this. It seems like very fun, enlightening, exciting type of energy that they're guiding you to do and your mind's kind of calling for the break. So I hope that you will give your mind the break it needs and go spend some time around people that you, that you like or you love or that are fun. So I hope that this serves you, group number one, um, and I hope it serves your mind well. Uh, if something resonated with you in this reading, please give it a like if you enjoyed the reading and feel free to leave me a comment down below and let me know how it's resonating with you. And if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please do that so that you won't miss any of my future readings and uploads and I'll see you in the next Daily Double. Hello group two and welcome to your daily double today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the second card combo here for the messages for your mind. So let's see what they have to offer up your mind today. Ooh, look at this, inner desires. Card number 16, set some intentions. You are entering a phase of plenty or may have a sudden windfall. Goals are within your grasp. Whoa. Love. So, <laughs> this is nice. First of all, I think that they're preparing your mind for whatever this sudden windfall is or the uh, plentiful energy that's coming or um, being able to actually attain or reach goals that you've been working toward or you're going for, what you're going for, right? What your desire is, the inner desire that you're working towards. Um, I feel like they're trying to set your mind up for the, yeah, they're saying, the way they're saying it is the approaching energy. <laughs> so that's nice. I mean, you want to know you're walking into uh, plenty, plentiful energy. You're walking into prosperity, right? You're walking into success. Um, and for you, if you chose this group, that's exactly what you're doing. You're making your way there. So the, the most important, I think, well, obviously your mind can know that, but we just don't want it to go into ego land with that. So the most important statement on this card for you is set some intentions. So I would say your mind needs to get clear on, you need to get clear on what your intentions are for this energy, the approaching energy, as their as spirit saying it, what's coming up for you, this phase of plenty or this sudden windfall that may pop up for you um, or hitting those goals and actually being able to grasp them finally. They just said finally. So you probably have been working, maybe dreaming about it, having this desire for a while. Obviously you've put in the work along the way to be able to uh, get yourself there or for it to be aligned enough, for it to come through, for it to be manifest. Um, here on this plane of existence for them to bring something in. It's the approaching energy. So it's like you're walking and this energy is approaching you now. Interesting. Approaching energy. Uh, I'm not sure I've ever heard them explain it like that, but that's okay. We'll take it. Thank you. Uh, you're making your way toward it. You're probably quite close to those inner desires becoming a reality. Reset your intentions or get clear on your intentions. Set some intentions about not only you know, what it what it means to you perhaps or what your motive is for doing it. But I feel like it's almost like a reconnection to your why 
that feeling, what is my motive? Why am I doing this? Why do I want this in the first place? Because sometimes we can get lost in the journey of trying to seek a goal, um, lost in the egotism of it, in the physical trek of it, and, and forget why we actually want it from a soul place, from a purposeful place, or from an intuitive place, why we actually want that. I, I feel like they want your mind to be prepared with the intentions. Let's see what's under this to give us more information. Oh my God, this is crazy. So yes, yes, and yes, this is most certainly happening. You've got the 10 of pentacles here. That is the card of windfall, legacy, uh, ultra amounts of abundance, expanded finances, um, lucrative abundance, yes, money for sure, uh, things working out in your favor. So even if it's not money, it's like plenty full energy. There's more than enough, more than enough to go around. Look at everybody, they're in front of a castle. Look, they look so pleased and happy, more than enough. Things are blooming, stars are shining, hearts are abounding, the key, Okay, the key is there. It just feels like this is happening and your mind needs some preparation. That's what I'm feeling, group number two. Um, so again, I feel like you've been trekking and you've been hoping and you've been probably working toward it because if you're just hoping, it's not gonna be landing. <laughs> you know, um, if you're just sitting there hoping, no, you've done the work, you've been trekking toward it and now it is approaching. You are approaching it and it is approaching you and it is most certainly available here. They're doubling down, 10 of pentacles. So what is your intention for the receiving of this? Um, what was your intention for the journey thus far? What is your intention moving forward? What happens after you receive it, right? What happens after you're in the midst of this energy where it's no longer approaching but you're actually um, consumed by the energy? Is it negative or is it positive? We want intention. We want to remember that core value system. A Ten of Pentacles is very familial energy and I don't, it doesn't necessarily have to be your family, but it's very grounded, supportive, rooted energy where everything is abundant and there is always enough. There is more than enough. That's the feeling of the Ten of Pentacles. So how can you express that feeling now and as you're approaching the energy and as you're then consumed or one with the energy? Um, because it's coming. Your inner desires are being made manifest and you should be very proud of yourself from getting for getting to a place where this is available for you because you made it happen along with the divine orchestration. It's not just the divine orchestration that made this happen. It's you too. So be very proud of yourself and be open to receiving it. But take some time now to set your mind frame up, to set your mind up for the reception of this and the continued um, value that it can provide you. So I hope that this serves you. I'm very excited for you, group number two. Hope that this serves your mind too so you guys can work in tandem with each other from a beautiful, um, balanced place and that you can receive this wonderful, uh, abundant wealth type of energy that is approaching as you guys are approaching each other, I guess. Um, so I hope it serves you again. If something resonates for you in this reading, please leave me a comment down below or make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss uh, my future readings and the content I'll be posting for you. And I'll see you in the next Daily Double.